You may have seen this term COP21 popping up. Welcome, climate counselors, to the COP21 à Paris. Firstly, this Paris Agreement includes the ambition to keep global temperatures to no more than 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. No agreement is perfect, including this one. Negotiations that involve nearly 200 nations are always challenging. Even if all the initial targets set in Paris are met, we'll only be part of the way there when it comes to reducing carbon from the atmosphere. An INDC, it's an intended, nationally determined contribution. These are the, uh, the sum total of the efforts of each party to contribute to trying to um, uh, meet the objective of the, of the convention, to stabilize concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. All of those pledges will be reviewed every five years. It doesn't go quite as far as some of us might wish, but it's a, certainly a, a major step down the road. The actual targets that they have brought to the summit lead us to an extremely dangerous world. They lead us to warming of three to four degrees Celsius, which is beyond catastrophic. Paris for us is just a step. There is also this massive international movement organizing itself and this is why those spaces are so important for people to meet, for people to organize, for people to train, for people to share skills and it's exactly what's happening. So I think it's really given us, giving us a perspective.